Hi everyone, my name is Anne and I work in the Kids Department at Herrick District Library and in this video I am going to show you how to get a digital library card. So if you don't already have a Herrick District Library card and you would like to have access to our e-library, which includes things like e-books, e-audiobooks, there are movies and music that you can stream, there are even e-comics that you would use your computer or your tablet or your phone to either read or listen to. So if you want to get a digital card that will just give you access to the things in our e-library, you would come here to our website, which is herrickdl.org. And we're going to scroll down right here to HDL card slash digital card help. And that is going to bring us to a form. Uh, we will need some information that you might want to check with your parent or guardian about just to make sure you're using their preferred options for phone number and email and that kind of thing. But what you would do to get your card is just click here. I need a new digital card. There are obviously a few different things that you can do on this form, but right now we are going to say we need a new digital card. Now they need my full name, last name, first name, middle initial. So we're just going to say that my last name is Herrick, like the library. And my first name is Anne, and my middle initial is K. Now we need a full address, and this is your address. So even if you guys are doing this as part of a, um, a class at school, um, we need your address where you live. Um, so here, We've got our street address, the city, the state, and the zip code. And then we need a phone number. Just in case we have any questions for you about your library card or your account, just whatever phone number we can reach you at. And a birth date. Let's just make one up here. And then an email. I know a lot of you guys have email um, accounts through school. If you have a personal email account that you would rather use, or if you think it would be best for your parent or guardian to get your emails about your library card, any of those work, whichever one is going to be best for us if we need to ask you any questions or send you information about your account or um, your things, the things that you've borrowed from the digital library. And then down here, if you had any questions or any adif additional information that you wanted to, um, to share, you could do that. I'm actually going to just put in here that this is a test card because I don't actually need them to make me another digital card. And once everything in this form is filled out, you would just click submit. And that will pop up this little thing here that says, thank you for your submission. Once your submission has been processed, the library will email you your new virtual library card number and information on how to access our digital collections. Now, this is the important part. Please allow us time to process your request. Unfortunately, it is not instant. So it does take a little bit of time. Just keep checking your email and eventually you will get a confirmation email that will include your library card number, which is a string of numbers that you would use to log in or to use to, to check out any of our digital materials. Um, and it will also include information on how to access our digital collection. And of course, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to us. All of our contact information is right here on our website as well. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoy your digital card.